All right, we're at a uh, property on Highlands. We bought this property. What did we pay for this, Brian? He was asking 70 something, but we worked it down. Yeah. So I don't know, something like that. We figure the value is around 150, 160. It's a pretty big house, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a monster house. Well, you already did the roof on it, Alex? Yeah, the roof is redone. Looks tight, did a good job. Whose boat is that? Is that my boat? <laughs> nice. If you're interested in these products right here, you can contact Brian. <laughs> And also blue glass tile. Chicken coop here for you. We'll even sell that one. So this property, I can tell you right now, that's our neighbor or is this our, on ours? That's our neighbor. So we definitely need to build a fence. We're surrounded by a lot of trailers out here, huh? On this side of the street, every house down here, I mean, you're, you're looking at 250s, 280s. You can go up and up that number you threw out there. I know, I was throwing low. I was throwing low just because I always like to think low in my mind and then expect to get the most. Get surprised by the number. So this one, I think our money is going to be spent we got to put a driveway in this thing. We got tree work to do. Probably delim this one, cut these down pretty good. Make a nice approach to the driveway, put some gravel in here. All right, let's roll through the house. All right, hold on. Yep. What do you want to do on the side? Let's T111 everything. You want to keep the stucco on this part though? Oh, on this? Yeah. Yeah, T111 everything else. This is fine actually. This is fine, but the back. Oh yeah, this is all rot. Never mind. I mean, how much is a sheet of T111? It's dropped. Like crazy. Building materials went from being $80 a board, now it's down to $14 a board. Right, because they were screwing us, because they could. And I, was, that, I was thinking, how can you justify, the, how can you justify charging people $80 a board when its price has always been $14, $15 dollars a board? Supply and demand. Eight. I think we got to do siding on this one. That's oh, that's, that's vinyl that's side that's the whole freaking thing. Then there's no paint. We'll vinyl side the whole damn thing. I'm all for it. Yeah, and it's quick and it'll be, look, no paint, no nothing, no T111. How much to vinyl side this whole thing in material? 3,000 bucks? 500, 3,000. Yeah, let's vinyl side it. That'll save us a ton of money. We just have to fix this issue. So this is our main entrance point, right? So roofs all taken care of on everything. Let's go in the house. They put sandbags for water. All right. Damn, I ain't seen it with nothing in it yet. This is a good layout. I think we just keep it the way it is. You like it? <laughs> And the nice thing that we're vinyl siding this thing is that we can delete really easily. Window here, delete. Don't you agree? Okay. If we keep this the way it is, we're gonna have to build some sort of a step. It's gonna cost us more money. 48 inch window on center and then delete it. Delete it, yeah. Just cover up with vinyl. You got a closet in the bathroom. You got this wasted space and then you got another closet here. I brought this specifically for this purpose. Let's go right back through this real quick. We got a badass bathroom. Perfect. This can stay exactly the way it is. This is a good layout, okay? So what we need to do, since we're now going to have a wall there. <laughs> right? That be, This becomes a his and hers big ass closet. I mean, you could even keep this inside there for like, you don't even need to take this way apart. So what do you want to do? You want to hallway here and two doors one door here and one door there yep let's ju let's just delete this so yeah. limited on what you can do that's catching these rafters here so we can't pull that out you can see where it's oh yeah that's you got that's a little little right there. here yeah. but you can just connect it to but this wall this would still be an awesome wraparound closet just a two layer all the way around put shoe racks in the put corner. a wall here and a wall there to make it a hallway and the doors for each closet We'll support this. Yeah, it'll carry the load. Yeah, I think you can't leave her in a long ways out here to not have any support. Just take this out and leave all of this. Oh, these rafters are sitting on this Yeah, wall. you got all they of these even... rafters dying there, and then you got this brace on that. And you're also cutting out three feet out of that mask. But this wall that we're putting in right here mm -hmm. will support this rafter. So they're now going to be laying on, on top of this wall. I get so what you're saying, but then there's nothing over uh, it, it will be this two walls. It's going to take us a little bit of wind and start pushing this Yeah, but this around. two walls, it will be more than this. We'll have a wall there, a wall there, and a wall here. It'll get supported there, and then here and here. I mean, it will be more than what it, what it currently has. I agree. Three walls. I think I think you're thinking right, but I think we're reinforcing it because he's coming out here, mm -hmm. and Went then wrong. and then you're coming out here this way again. Here. So we got more support than we had before. So what are you thinking? You're thinking just like this? Yep. Across there, and then one back across here. Yep. And have your doors open this way. So I say you walk, here's the door. Have three and three. No doors. I'm saying you walk, here's your wall, your door right through there, his, 
hers. So ideally it's just a wall right here that opens up to it. This one's kind of like open and hers is closed. So this part is just open. There's only one wall here that separates her stuff. This is open because this is already closed off from here. You're, you're putting a door right here. You walk in through the door. That's his stuff over here. Then there's another door for her stuff over here. Or we just make it one big ass closet. Yeah, I think you're adding a lot more because that's $400 in doors. So let's just add, make it one big ass closet that you walk through and it's separated just by the way it is. So just a wall here. So we extend it. And I don't care about losing the master because I got too much master. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Before we get too much further, dead space behind here. Ah. Nothing. Oh, well, that's a good point. Nothing useful back here, so let's move around. Let's go through the bathroom first real quick. All right, so this should come out. Yep. Just a big-ass shower here. So this, so this whole wall stretches all the way to here. Tub on this side. We'll put a little glass partition here. Glass partition here. Shower head, shower head, tub. Shower head, shower head. Wherever the easiest way, I don't care if you switch it to here. I don't even care if you put a tub in here. We, I, we can make it a badass shower without the tub. Got Just the tub somewhere in the house. Some people do Yeah, that. we'll do that in someone's house, but you can build out like a little bench here, bench over here, and stand up shower. Shower head coming down, right? Yep, shower. right there. Delete, delete, delete. I kind of am going back and forth on this about deleting this. You want to leave a closet inside the bathroom? Nah, I think it's gonna add more value if we make a big ass, big ass, we have a big ass shower. Let's delete the whole thing. Barn door that. Yep. Open that up as wide as possible. Barn door it. So you're gonna open it up. So when you walk in this thing, you're like, nice. boom. You've got this huge bathroom. You're walking and we all we have to do is put gla those glass partitions. One here, one here to stop the water. You don't need to do anything else. You put, the other thing is we put a niche right here in the middle. Just like, it feels like a spot in here. So then we just do a, a double vanity here. Make this as big as possible with the most counter space possible and take it all the way out to here, double vanity. That's it, this one's done. So now we're going back into here. Oh yeah, Brian's 100%, dude. We just got a whole closet. So we don't need to do anything. We just need to extend that closet. We're gaining more. That wall out. 100%. You're getting so much square footage out of here and just this becomes a badass closet and we keep it, keep it the exact same way. So this one becomes wall. So what I was thinking was since we had to work in plumbing back mm -hmm. in this is use this as our washroom and I was I'm already there with you 100%. But then that leaves us with this over here which is another problem because this would be a good half half because this makes no Sense. Nah, it's off the kitchen. That's the right idea. Let's stay over here because this makes the most sense for right now. Walk-in pantry right there. Yeah, I agree with that. That's a better solution. Walk-in pantry. This is a good idea right here. Keeping this closed. Since you're walling this off, you could make... I mean, you could build a wash closet there on that back wall, yeah. However you're gonna do it, but I agree. Let's put a three quarter bathroom down here. I'd honestly rather put more focus on that washer and dryer and put a nice powder room, but we have so much space in here. We might want to put a little shower in here, but I don't know if it's gonna add us any value. There's no bath, there's no bedrooms down here. So we don't need to put a shower, shower or anything like that. It's just a waste of money. So I would just focus on building a really nice laundry area. The fridge was here. So if we walled that off right there, put the fridge right here where you're standing and then put our doorway for our laundry room, half bath. Okay, so I do agree that this is a better solution here. Where's your door coming from? So, I mean, I would say door coming from around here. That way you got washer dryer that side and then you can have Toilet in the corner, vanity here. For sure. Everything's staying. <laughs> Everything's staying. Yeah, we can clean this right up. Put a nice countertop. I mean, no. Yeah, the only thing top. is with where it's at, anybody that's bigger than me will have a problem. Well, we gotta. I don't like that. I mean, I like the idea of having the extra counter space here since the kitchen's so tight. This sh should all go away. Yeah. I don't think there's any value to this. No. Nope. Except for the pennies. That could be you, your side hustle. <laughs> I hate this stairway. 